What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new update that dropped yesterday in Heroes of Middle-Earth. There are some changes to where characters can be farmed and we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're also going to talk about the increase in gold and why you can buy a new chest and why you definitely should not buy that chest. And also talk about some other changes that have been brought up in this update. So we're going to break that all down in today's video. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's dive right into it. So this new content update. It starts off by saying that or by talking about the Arwen event, which will begin June 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific time and will end June 7th at 8 a.m. Just a little under a full week to get this done. You will be required to be level 30 to complete this event. And this is going to be what we call in the Galaxy Heroes community a marquee event. If you go and look at this event in game, you will actually see here inside of your adventures, the bitter and the sweet, the marquee adventure. They kept the name. So what happens here is you do the first four tiers and you will get 25 shards of each. Now, if you are looking at this, you may notice your marquee rewards may not show up down here. They talk about that. That is a visual error. When I first looked at this, I didn't have 25 shards of Arwen inside of tier one. They uh, they did acknowledge that as a visual error and it will be fixed in an upcoming update and won't be a problem for the future marquee events. So you do the first four tiers, you get 25 shards of Arwen each, and that'll get you 100 shards, which gets you a three-star Arwen, at which point you can do tier five, which will get you 50K gold and 15K character experience. Not bad. That's all That's all welcome. I, I like that. A little, little extra gold and some character experience. That's perfect. At level six, you can do this event to get 500K gold and 250K experience. But in order to do this, you must have a five star Arwen. This is your whale tier. This is something that only whales will be able to do because only because you're going to have to buy Arwen shards to get this done. There is no way for you to farm this up unless you've been hoarding gems since day one and you get incredibly lucky. You're not going to get tier six as free to play. So keep that in mind. This is pretty much a whale tier. If you can't get to it, do not stress out about it. This is the this is how things go. This is the, this is their incentive for people to, uh, to people to spend on Arwen. If you are if you've looked at the data mines, you're probably going to be buying Arwen eventually anyways to get Elrond, though you could probably farm her up later. But at which point this marquee event will be done. Nothing you can really do about that. So moving on from that, you can see here there's also epic ability materials and tier six. It shows up sometimes. It doesn't show up for me right now. If I go back in, maybe it's there. Yeah, it's not there right now, but there is a t there is a new ability material. It's an epic. It's a green colored vial instead of like the blue, yellow, or purple that we have right now. So it's a tier four ability material. I assume that will be for something very special in the future. I'm hoping they're not like Zetas. We'll see. We'll see what they do with the uh, knowing uh, knowing them. Elrond's probably going to have some kind of epic ability that's going to require those ability materials. We'll see. We'll we'll see how it all pans out. Okay, so moving on, they're adding new chapters. The chapter six of Light and Shadow. I'm still on like chapter four of each. Or no, I just unlocked chapter five, and I'm already hating it. So chapter six is a is a ways off for me. But they've also noticed that there have been some difficulty issues, and I was a little bummed. To not see Shadow Campaigns chapters 3 and 4 on here as well. Chapter 3 is a pain. Chapter 4 is even worse. <laughs> but they are nerfing uh, the normal Shadow Campaign chapter 5. And they're tuning the chapter 5 hard difficulty for light. They're saying tuning. I'm hoping. Yeah, they say that uh, they're trying to smooth out the difficulty. So I assume these are getting slight nerfs to make these a little bit easier. But... but Eventually, when I get through chapter five or chapter four of Shadow, I'll see what chapter five is like, and I'm probably going to hate every second of it. So moving on from that, we have bonus chests now. Sam Gamgee, or sorry, we do, we already had bonus chests, but there's been changes to it. Sam, Sam Gamgee will no longer be in bonus chests, which is a shame. I've already gotten like three or four shards of Sam from those bonus chests. Gear and gold drops are now in the bonus chest as well, and additional character shard not now drops from the chest. This means that you will now get two character shards, gear, and gold every four hours from the bonus chest. With the addition of gold in the bonus chest, this will be a not insignificant way to gain gold through normal gameplay means. Speaking of gold, and they... Uh, 
Okay. So they've acknowledged gold is an issue and they are working on rectifying it. In the meantime, there is a chest you can buy within the game for gems. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Unless you're a whale, don't even think about buying this. On average, you're getting about 12,000 gold per one of these chests. And they cost 150 gems. It's really not worth it. Yeah, I mean, you unless you're a whaling out, you're really not getting use out of this. So do not buy this chest. And same thing with the character XP. Do not buy this chest either. This is this is bait for people who want to spend some gems. This is pretty much whale food. And for anybody else, this is just something you just completely ignore. They're not worth buying with the gems. If the payout was significantly higher, I could say, sure, maybe you want to buy the lost treasure chest with the gold. But on average, you're getting about a, you're getting somewhere between around 15k gold per chest, I think is the average. It's just not worth it. Really not worth it for 150 gems. You're talking what? I mean, you're talking about one to two dollars per chest for that little gold. It's it's really not worth it. So don't do not buy that. Do not buy either chest if you're planning on doing so. They talk about that here. They will. They are looking at making more changes for gold. So keep that in mind. We will be seeing more gold in other places. Though right now, if you're farming up the guild campaign for Elro here in Naramiri, you're getting a pretty solid amount of gold every day from that at least. Character shard changes. This is where we start to have a suspect a suspicion that elves would be required for Elrond. There was a data mine saying that we would need elves for Elrond. So Naramiri is now guild 2-1 from Shadow 3-9. Much easier to farm, which is, that was our first big clue. Also, Elro here. Elro here and Naramiri being very, well, not, not very, but relatively easy farms. Guild 3 one's not hard to do. Guild 2 one's very easy to do. So these are pretty quick, easy farming locations to get to. You, yeah, the it pretty much means that you're going to be farming up your elves. And with the data mine, it, it makes sense. Malher is a little more difficult now to get to. He was at light 1-2. He's now light 2-1. Overall, not bad. Um, it is a little sucky because he was... Uh, yeah, he, he's an easy choice for your Isengard trio for his Shadow campaign. So I would really like to see him stay at light 1-2. Especially since they didn't put anybody in that location. Though, if I had to guess... Arwen or Elodin's probably going to move to Light 1, 2 to be a really quick, easy farm. We'll see what they do with that. Leliel, now Shadow 3, 9, much more difficult to get to. So if you are free to play trying to get Elrond, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Um, Yeah, that one, that one's not good. And Grimpa was Guild 2, 1 and is now Guild 2, 3. Uh, eh, I mean, goblins are goblins. They're, they take a lot to build up. I uh, I haven't really focused on them. This one doesn't mean much for me. This could mean well no, because Nary Miri went to Guild 2-1. So I guess they're keeping Grimpa and and uh and Guild and the Guild Chapter 2, but I mean that one doesn't really matter much to me because again I don't really farm the goblins right now. Daily login calendar, they are extending it because the global launch was on May 10th. People logged in and they're already 10 days behind on the daily calendar. They will be extending it so that everybody who started playing on the global launch day will indeed be able to get all the May calendar rewards. There is apparently also a new calendar you get at level 45. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet. I'm not level 45 yet. I'm wondering if maybe we get a new calendar when we hit level 60 as well. We'll see how that changes. But finally, here's a big one. They're changing the arena and challenge supply chain, uh, the arena and challenge supply stores. Both uh, both their supplies have been tweaked to always include character shards rather than the chance to not include any at all. The fact that that wasn't already in the game kind of blows my mind. I I was surprised that got through at all. So now look at this. Look at this. You can buy anybody's shards here. And you go over to the challenge store. Look, now you can always buy Halberad. Like, isn't that so nice? You know what? While we're here, let's just buy some more Halberad shards. There we go. Yeah, so this is, I, I legitimately cannot believe that uh, that went through at the beginning. It, it, it got really frustrating some days. You get into the arena store, and for 24 hours, all you got to do was sit there and stare at a character experience that you could buy. 
when you wanted Shagrat or Aomer, Galbers. Well, you didn't really want Galbers, Goblins, but Shagrat, Aomer, you wanted their shards, but you couldn't get them, and it sucked. So yeah, uh, now we can uh, now we actually finally get character supplies correctly in arena and challenge stores. Guild challenge store. I mean, yeah, you can see uh, I'm gonna have to start spending more of these of this guild campaign. I'm spending. I'm farming Elro here in Miri so much. I've got this whole abundance. I don't. Maybe yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll buy a couple Miri shards just to just take that cap down a little bit. But yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the fact that I've got a cap on my. Uh, on my. Uh, no, get out of here. That we that we have a cap on these on these currencies. So I'm gonna have to find a place to start spending some of these. We'll we'll see how it all pans out. But anyways, back to the back to the update. Couple a uh, couple of bug fixes. There was one right here. This right here. I did four seven the other day, and a character dialogue window popped up, and. It named the character, and it named the shadowy figure. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. I'm not going to show the picture of it. But yeah, when the shadowy figure speaks, a text dialogue pops up. And in that dialogue, you see the name of the character speaking. So I don't know if the shadowy figure just got spoiled for me because of that bug. But um, yeah, that's uh, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. There's an issue here as well. Great Goblin Special. This was causing issues. So it's nice to see that got fixed. And yeah, your piece's name was spelled incorrectly. I think, I think really that's it for me that I noticed. Yeah, yeah. This right here. This is a big one. There's an offer that you can buy for 50 bucks that gives you 50 Shagrat shards. And it just says unlock the Mordor squad. The problem is 50 shards of Shagrat's not enough to unlock him. So this definitely needed to be clarified. That was a big one. I don't think there's... Oh yeah, this. This too. So uh, Rip, if you've been cruising through the PvE campaigns without any problems against Troll Brutes, they are now uh, they are now dealing damage and they're going to wreck you. So uh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, anyways. Oh yeah, Eldra the Treefoot was no longer didn't have a leader tag but yeah there, there's a couple different bug fixes there i think those are the ones that really stood out to me that's gonna really wrap it up here for the update let me know what you guys think down below of the update what are you guys hoping to see with the with the uh the changes to gold are you guys what do you what do you guys want to see in terms of how we can get more gold let me know what did you guys think down below as always if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure that like button share this video subscribe to the channel I will see you guys next time.